I was just watching a video on cold cranking amps, and this guy was trying to debunk something about uh, this other video guy's knowledge on batteries or something. And anyway, it got me looking up cold cranking amps because there was a discrepancy of a. Uh, uh, I've you know I've read cold cranking amps, and uh, I just jotted down some stuff. And there's this. Uh, basically, it's uh, the test is for. They say it's, you know, Europe is 18 degrees or wherever, you know, the metric people are negative 18 degrees Celsius, which is zero degrees Fahrenheit, and that's what they test them at. And uh, supposedly it's supposed to be a battery tested at zero degrees Fahrenheit for, or eight, negative 18 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. But they also say that it should be for a week that some batteries need uh, checked for a week, but they're all tested for no drop, apparently at 500 amps uh, for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, apparently. There's two, there's a couple different variations. Uh, 500 amps to 500 amps, and there's a voltage drops after 30 seconds, and some of them are 60 seconds. And uh, there's a cranking amps, and that's that's a lead acid battery is 32 degrees, and they crank that for 30 seconds, and it has to have 7.2 volts for a 12 volt. And I'm just going to give you the voltage for how they test a 12 volt. I'm not going to go through all the other ones. And but the cold cranking amps for this this Great Northern battery, they had a different uh, a variation. All the other ones are like uh, zero degrees or negative eight, uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius. Celsius and they are negative 17.8 degrees Celsius. Why that? I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to pay for the negative, you know, what they got to pay for a, a to say that they're putting uh, doing a test at 17.8 and you to do it at negative 18, you got to pay some institute that said, well, we have a patent on the testing. I mean, you come on, patent on testing. I don't, I don't know if there is or not, but I don't know why they got negative 17.8. But they do that, and that's uh, for 30 seconds, cold cranking amps for 30 seconds. And uh, then there's a there's Johnson. These are just off the Internet. I don't think it matters. You get it off the Internet or out of a book, they're all going to have discrepancies. If you read one book to another, they're, you know, this person got it, and, you know, they might put their own words to it. Or they think that this is how it should be, and so I'm going to write it like this. And they think, well, if I write it like this, then I could put a patent on my words or, a wor or whatever they call it. A, not a patent on words. A, uh, anyway. But they, uh, they, they do it. Uh, this Johnson Control, they was uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. But they didn't say, none of them said that they did it for... Uh, how long they kept the battery at zero uh, Fahrenheit. None of them said that. The, the tests are negative zero for 24 hours, but they also say that to get a true test on a battery, it could possibly take a, a week or more because maybe they just test, they just stick a thermometer in the, uh, in the uh, electro, uh, the, battery acid you know they just stick a thermometer in there and then when that when the water gets down to uh or the you know the solution in the battery gets down to uh, zero degrees maybe they test it then but then the the plates in there and everything the, maybe what they're saying is a true test is has to be at uh, zero degrees fahrenheit that means the plates and everything because maybe the plates don't get down to zero degrees in 24 hours Maybe it'd take a week for the plates, and the bigger the cranking uh, amps, on a, the bigger the battery, the longer it'd take to uh, cool them down to zero degrees. So uh, there's that. UASA is uh, zero degrees, and there for uh, 30 seconds. And these, like I said, it's all 500 cranking amps, and this, I'm doing talking about 12 volts. And uh, some battery university, I don't know who they are, but they were saying... Uh, uh, 500 amp battery delivers 500 amps at negative 18 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And the CC, the cold cranking amps is estimated and takes 
perhaps sometimes a week per battery, which is what I'm talking about. Now there's a, there's these three institutes. There's the American Institute, and then there's some uh, international institute, and then there's a European Institute that they all do. Uh, they all came up with different ways to test their cold cranking amps. SAE, they say that this is, this is I don't know, they, the J537 test or something for cold cranking amps. This test is 500 to 5, and they're all 500 to 500. And they stay above 7.2 volts after cranking them for 30 seconds, and that's after 24 hours at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the IEC, which uh, is the International Electrotechnical Commission, and I looked it up, and it said that they... Uh, they're a standardization company, and they're trying to make everybody, you know, bow to their standards or something. The ISO is in there. Uh, they're basically just a paperwork. All the only thing has to be up to grade. You know, anybody can change paperwork uh, for standards. It's nothing, you know. I mean, when you're out there in the the labor force and the manufacturing production and the standards aren't up to the paperwork, well, the paperwork would say, well, we're going to ship those out, and we'll, we'll deal with the stuff later uh, as far as, uh, you know, if anybody complains, you know, not however many people, you know, whatever the product is. But anyway, that's uh, International Electrotechnical Commission is uh, supposedly trying to claim that they're the highest standards, where SAE is trying to say that they're the high standards. But the IEC says stay above 8.5. 4 volts for 60 seconds. Now they might have put that up there. Uh, they might be like the EPA trying to uh, get pure oxygen out of a uh, vehicle, you know, out of a combustion engine. Uh, they want pure oxygen coming out of the tailpipe is probably what the EPA is shooting for. And that's that might be why they have 8.4 volts for 60 seconds because that's the highest standard, which they might be saying, well, we... Uh, are up at the highest standards, and so we're going to put 8.4 volts for 60 seconds. Okay, well, that's Sam. And uh, then you got the DIN, which that's a European. It actually it's it's Deutsch Institute for uh, Normung, and it actually it, it, it uh, translates to German Institute of Standardization. And their test. Uh, for CCA after zero degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours will stay above nine volts for 30 seconds. Now I don't I don't know how any of these standards rate against each other, and where they came up with. There's three different you know SAE is 7.2 volts for 30 seconds, IEC is 8.4 volts for 60 seconds, and the DIN is nine volts for 30 seconds. So if you want to get a German battery, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Bosch sells a battery or not, or an automotive battery here or not, but I, you know, if, if they got a CCA and it, they can stay at 9 volts for 30 seconds, you know, maybe maybe it's better. And maybe, uh, but they all are the same, you know, 0 degrees for 24 hours, and they don't necessarily, I don't know if that's for the, the, uh, the liquid in the battery or if they, that has to drop to 0 uh, degrees uh, in like the the plates and all that stuff the plates and the the uh, case and all that has to be at z it, you know they measure all that stuff at zero degrees I don't know I don't know if that's the same but uh, that's what I've looked up for a cold cranking amps and there's discrepancy I you know I don't know if discrepancies I don't I don't know who you trust <laughs>